Hello and welcome back to the Django ORM series. This is part five. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the NOT query. So like the OR and the AND that we've already covered, NOT is one of those other popular commands that you'll be utilizing when you're creating queries. So generally, the NOT command is used with WHERE to only include rows where a condition is not true. So take a look at this simple example with not. So select all from students. So this is SQL we're looking at here, where not age equals 21. So here essentially what we're doing is we're filtering out anyone who's 21 and we're not then going to show or return any of the students in this case whose age is 21. Now, of course, in Django, we aren't using SQL. So we need a way of utilizing or building a not query. And we do that using the exclude, or we can also do this using a queue object. So let's have a look at an example of this. So back in the code here, let's uh, now build an exclude query. So we're going to be utilizing the same function as pr previously used. So let's go ahead and use this. So I've just renamed it so I can then utilize it down here and output it to my output template. Really, the, the biggest change here is the word exclude, if you're familiar with OR and AND queries. So again, we're utilizing these, uh, we'll put everything into, into posts. So student and then dot objects again, and then this time we'd use an exclude. So this is the NOT equivalent in SQL. So let's go ahead and exclude something. So let's go over to the SQLite Explorer here. Have a look at student table again. Uh, let's uh, not include. So we're going to grab everything from this database and then not include uh, the where students are age 20. So let's just remove these two. So exclude and then age equals 20. So let's go ahead and just print that out into the terminal and then run the SQL so we can see the SQL, sorry, not run the SQL. So connection.queries is gonna print out the SQL and some other parameters so we can see the performance of our SQL. And then we just return it to the template that we created previously. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now we can go ahead into our template. So let's just fire up the template. And you can see we've returned the object Raquel. So that was one of the items if we look back into our table. So her age was 21 and not 20. So therefore we've excluded these two students and we've only returned the one student. So if we have to look at the SQL that's actually run, so we're running a select and these are all the items that we're selecting from the student table again. And then it says from, and then that's obviously then defines the table that we're utilizing. So again, just to reiterate, um, we've got the student, which ref is referring to the app student up here. And then we have the table, which is student. So that's the table inside of the, uh, if we go into students and then go into, there's lots going on here, go into the models. We have a, a class here, student. So we're inside of this table. So we've selected that. And then we have the where. So now we're utilizing where not. So if we go back into the example that I gave you previously, you can see that this is following this simple SQL statement where not, and then we define the not parameter. So in this case, it says student student, and then the age field equals 20. You can see that there was a little bit of execution time. Um, that's how long it took to execute this SQL query. Um, and there we go. So that's the SQL query associated to what we've just written here. This very simple, go back, this very simple exclude. So we can buddy this up with an AND. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and exclude some more items here. So for example, I've extended this with the AND here and now I've defined another exclude. So first name starts with. So let's go ahead in actual fact and change this to the student that was getting returned. So this is their first name. So let's exclude that too. So as you might imagine, now I've excluded anyone who is age 20 and I've excluded anything to be returned where the first name starts with Raquel here. So let's go ahead 
and refresh and we're not returning anything at all. So you may already be familiar with this type of setup where you want to perform SQL queries and then this is obviously where age is more than 20 for example. Um, so previously we were excluding the age equals 20. Now naturally you might want to try for example where the age is, is more than 20 or for example whether it's less than 20. So these kind of logical operators can be used when we're building SQL statements or that's how generally we'd, we would try and filter out information. In Django it doesn't work that way. If we tried to do something like this for example it simply wouldn't work, we would receive an error. So as per normal I wanted to direct you to a Django documentation page. This would be the one to read if you wanted to learn a little bit more about how to perform those kind of extended operations. As you move down the bottom here with day and the month etc uh, there's a few different options. So we're just going to go through them now. Um, I end with, um, I start with and so on. So GTE greater than or equal to and LT less than. So let me just provide you an example of these two items here, how we can perform or action those with inside of our query that we're developing. So let's go back into the code. Let's do a greater than. So let's just remove all this. So what we're saying now is not equal, but we want greater than. So what we need to do is take that, use the doubles, and then this time GT for greater than equals 20. So if we run that query, we return two students. So let's have a look at their, their ages to determine what's happened here. So let's go over to here, for example. So we return two students, uh, these two here, and they are both 20. Now, if we go back here, we're saying that greater than 20. So not, we're gonna exclude any students whose age is greater than 20. So here, for example, Raquel was 21, so we've excluded. Now, obviously, if we were to change this to, for example, 19, that will include exclude anyone whose age is more than 19, which is obviously everyone, so we won't return any students. Okay, so there's a few other options here, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, and less than and equal to. Okay, so those are the type of um, parameters that you might want to utilize inside of your um, queries that you're developing here in Django. So let's go ahead now and have a look at how we can perform these type of actions utilizing Q objects. So actually, I think I renamed these incorrectly. So these would be described as operators. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're just going to rename that so we're not returning that anymore. And then we'll copy this over and let's have a look at Q objects. So we can perform the same type of operations using Q objects. Again, I've not gone ahead yet and explained fully in detail what Q objects are. Um, so let's just go ahead and familiarize ourselves on how to actually apply them in this situation. So objects and dot, we're going to use a filter. So we wrap everything around um, this filter. So what we're going to be utilizing here is a special character and that's the tilde. So here we've got the tilde and the Q. So the tilde is representing not. So this is how we're going to build a not query with Q. Uh, so again, what we're doing here is now just setting this up. So we can probably just copy and paste this from here. So age uh, greater than 19. Let's just go ahead and do that. So um, we'll run that. So let's just copy that down so we can output. And let's just see what we've returned. Okay, let's go back into our and refresh. So at the moment, nothing is being returned. Um, maybe the server's not turned on. Oh, okay, I've forgotten to remove that. So let's go back and we've returned nothing. Okay, so we've got student objects filter. We collect everything from a student and we're filtering out not age greater than 19. So all that's happening here really is that anyone whose age is greater than 19, we're not going to print them out on the screen. So if we return, refresh, we don't actually include any of the students. Obviously, if we change this to 20, then that should return the two students because their ages aren't greater than 20. They are 20. So there we go. So that's not. So this type of 
query that we're developing here obviously can be expanded. So we can use the and, um, for example. So we can continue. And uh, this time, unlike before, um, we've seen previously where we have to actually type out the uh, teacher object and all again, for example, you can see we've got this uh, doubled up. Obviously with the queue objects, we don't do that. We can just continue. So here we can just literally just copy and paste this. So we we'll say age, um, let's just uh, change this to, for example, the something student starts with this. Okay. So let's just go ahead and change this to that. So students start with Baldwin. Okay, let's go back into our SQLite data. So anyone above 20 is going to be removed. And then anyone who has a surname of Baldwin will be removed. So therefore, we should return one item, which is Shana. So let's go ahead and try that. And there we go. Okay, so you can see how that can then be buddied up. Of course, we can use and here or or. If you're not too sure how to utilize those, have a look at the other previous tutorials. Okay, so we've expanded the queue and we can see how now queue can be utilized or queue objects. If you haven't already, I do apologize, I didn't mention, make sure that you import queue up the top here. And there we have it, a simple kind of exclude option and some of the different parameters that you can utilize here within exclude and other queries that you're developing uh, to print out. So the last thing I think we need to just look at the SQL code for this. So if we have a look through, we can see we're running a select again, and then the items from a database, the student database as per normal, and then from, and then we define the, the data or the table that we're getting the data from. And here we're running a where and not. So we've got two nots, uh, not student age 20 over 20, and not a surname like Baldwin. Okay, so you can see that we've got the and and the nots in place. So that kind of gives you an idea of the structure of the SQL that's running. Okay, I think we're done here. Uh, so that was just a simple example of using not queries. So hopefully you understand. If you don't, please leave a comment in the comment section. I'll happily answer any questions you have about not queries that you're utilizing. And hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial. So before you go, I'll just say thank you very much again. Uh, that was simple not queries um, utilizing Django and of course Q objects. Um, hopefully that was useful. It'd be good to get your feedback on any of the tutorials. If you've got any ideas on how tutorials can be improved or changed to support your learning needs, that would be great. Okay, again, thank you very much. And hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial.